Welcome back, Martin here, and this is the second of a three-part short video series to help you embrace and enjoy Christmas. If you haven't seen part one yet, go and see that now. In that, you were visited by the ghost of Christmas past, your past, and we looked at the stuff that had gone really well, the magical moments from the past, and how they came about. We also looked at the stuff that maybe haven't quite gone so well and how that came about. And what the Ghost of Christmas Past was doing was shining a light on these things so that we can duplicate some of the stuff that was really good and include that in this Christmas, whilst also avoiding some of that other stuff that maybe we regret, we're resentful for. And a lot of this was about us not being able to be present in the moment or indeed missing moments because we're so busy, busy with work, working harder, working longer, trying to dot every I, cross every T at work, but at the detriment to ourselves, to our family, to the magic of the season. So this is what this is all about. And we looked, we had that visitor from the ghost of Christmas past in the previous video. Well, today, today is that holly jolly, abundant, larger than life spirit, the ghost of Christmas present. Now the ghost of Christmas present is obviously all about the here and now, the here and now of the festive season. It's also about what's most important. And what's most important is family, the people around you, the magic moments with those people. Now work tends to get in the way of a lot of that. We're not going to talk about work right now. You might need to wait until the ghost of Christmas yet to come and we're going to talk about that. But right now, what we're going to do is we're going to prioritize you and your family. So the ghost of Christmas present is shining a light on what's most important to you. You, your family, those magic family moments. Now, the ghost of Christmas past has already shown you some of the things that you might want to duplicate this year. So now is our chance to make that happen. There might also be other things that you might want to do this year. The biggest learning from the ghost of Christmas present for you today is schedule them. Get them in a diary. If you hope, wish and pray that you'll go ice skating this year or you go to a carol concert this year, you're at the mercy of so many things there is a high chance it won't happen. And if it does happen, it would be some last minute rushed thing when you're not really expecting it, you're already distracted, you're not really in the moment. The best way for you right now to make sure that you have those magic moments with your family is to get them in the diary, is to schedule them. And I'm talking about, yep, the nativity. Well, that's a date in and of itself, right? It'd be probably nine o'clock on a Tuesday or whatever it is, right? You get it in that diary. You're working from home that day or that morning. You're going in later. If you just got an hour to spend at your child's school, watching them do the nativity, come on. You got time for that. Those are magic moments. They do not last. My, my boys are they're grown up. They're past that stage. Oh. Those are magic, magic moments. Don't miss out on those for some work thing that can be done in the afternoon. Make sure it's in the diary. Make sure you've planned for it. You've had the conversations around it. Same goes with everything. The carol concert, if that's your thing, or visiting, taking an afternoon off to, to be with your partner and go around a Christmas market. I use that example. I mean, we were looking in your past. I just wanted our magical moments is 
my wife and I just literally go into a Christmas market for an afternoon with no expectation. Like there's, there's, we've got no urge or urgency to buy anything. It's not a Christmas present shopping spree. Get those in the, in the diary too, especially if you're trying to do them together because again, marrying up when you're available is, can be tricky. So look at it. But yeah, that, that afternoon at the Christmas market is beautiful. No pressure, just literally enjoying the atmosphere and the hustle and bustle and having a hot cocoa and trying some Christmas nibbles and oh, the music, the sights, the sounds, the smells, the, it's beautiful. But if we haven't planned that, the chances of it happening are slim. And then we lose out. Oh, just giving ourselves a little bit of time and space to go. So when are we available for that afternoon or that hour or that two hours or whatever it might be? When are we available? And go, ah, yeah. And then we're looking forward to it. That's the beautiful thing about this. We'll then look forward to it because it's in the diary. Get everything else in there. Be it carol concerts, be it the Christmas shopping, the Christmas wrapping. Get in the Christmas tree. That's always a magic moment in our family. We love it. And it does, we get them so big that they have to go on the roof, Griswold style. <laughs> um, decorating the house inside and out, of course. By now, if you're an outside light person, they're probably already up, right? <laughs> I certainly are. And any other things that, that are magical to you, be that like the ice skating. That's one of our annual traditions now. Going to see in family and friends and all the family stuff, all the friends stuff. Prioritize that beyond everything else. We'll come to the work stuff, but the work stuff, we will work around our family stuff because that's that's the Christmas present. That's the most important thing, right? The family, our friends, being there, being present with them. So the more that you can, and it's not like it's trying to be a military operation here. It's just get some things in the day, coordinate calendars. It's a bit of a nightmare in our family right now, again, because people have been growing up and we're doing different things. You know, we, there's three jobs in the house that people are, people are doing and going in different directions and not all off at the same time. I mean, my wife and I did this recently and we realized we only have four days when we're together for the day. And I think, and only three of those days is my eldest son around. And in fact, for two of those other days, my son's at school because the schools don't break up until like two days before Christmas. So in terms of us all being together for a day, we really, it, we, our time is very, very limited. My time with my wife is very, very limited. And we've got stuff we want to do together in terms of some of that Christmas shopping in the market. There's stuff we want to do as a family, the carol concerts, the ice skating, all of this kind of stuff. So if we don't have a look at all the diaries and then start planning this stuff out, it won't happen. And then we're going to miss out. And we'll be the ones that regret it afterwards and go, oh, we didn't do that this year. Oh, yeah, I know. We we're just too busy, right? Well, if we spent some time at the beginning of December planning this stuff out and then looking forward to it, what's well, going to happen? So this is this is the message from the ghost of Christmas present, the stuff that's most important to you. And some of this is logistical stuff. It might be the, like they say, the shopping or the wrapping, the food shopping, right? Oh, Christmas food. Oh, Christmas food. Um, oh. I get distracted now by Christmas food. It might be that kind of stuff. Getting the tree, the decorate. There are logistical things, but then there are fun things too. It might be you know, additional things like watching the Christmas movies. I mean, we've been watching them for months, right? There's a lot to get through. It might be some Christmas, you know, making Christmas, uh, Christmas cookies. It might be making mince pies. It might be doing some Christmas coloring. It might be cutting out snowflakes, making paper decorations with your kids. Look at your calendar for December and just earmark some time. 
to do these things and get them actively involved so they can also look forward to it. Because it's definitely more likely to happen if you're all on board with it. If it's just in your head, if it then doesn't happen, nobody else knows. And that's when things really don't happen. It's just in your head. You know, or it doesn't matter. But it does matter once it's in the diary, once you're committed to it, once everybody else knows about it, they're excited about it, you're all excited about it, it's going to happen. So make this Christmas present joyful. Embrace it. That's the whole idea of this series. And we are starting with the most important thing, family, friends, the stuff that we want to do, the stuff that lights us up, the stuff that makes our Christmas, the tr Christmas traditions, the stuff that it will be so easy to miss or not be a part of, or indeed be there and not mentally or emotionally be there because we're just too busy. You know, the ghost of Christmas yet to come is going to help you with that. But right now, let's make sure the most important stuff that make up your festive season and your Christmas day are in place right now. Thank you for joining me. This is the message from the ghost of Christmas present. Get those things scheduled. Get those things in the diary. Have those conversations. All get excited about that. And then join me for our final video in this three-part series where you're going to be visited by the ghost of Christmas yet to come. And we're going to have a little look at that work situation and help you out with that. So until then, do the work for this one. Get it in the diary. Share what you're looking for in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video.